herd we've stumbled across, we've come across Short Trunk and her family. Now that's not Short Trunk over there, that's one of her offspring, her two offspring are just there. And if I go a little bit further forward, she's just feeding off to the right of me. Hello big girl, and going straight in the direction of the lions. It's okay lovely lady. There we go. Actually they're very relaxed, they're, they're a lovely herd to sit with. And you can see her just there feeding. Yes, little ones. Look at them all. Big brother, or big sister, should I say. No, big brother. Just ushered the little one on, saying, come on, come on, catch up now. Oh, there's another elephant coming up up the rear, too. What a great morning. Now, this is a, not concerning. Concerning is not the correct word that I want to use. However, if these elephants continue feeding in the direction that they're going, they might end up chasing those lions away which won't be great for us because it'll probably happen during the middle of the day and then we won't know where they go so I hope that the elephants pick up on their scent first and don't stumble upon them and then end up changing their direction rather not feeding around there here's a young bull though just coming here he's sort of coming in at quite a speed what are you doing mister don't come here and give my favorite hey 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 no, that's rude. You don't walk up to a person like that, especially if you don't know them. How rude is that? Now, that's, that's unnecessary. Look, now you're upsetting everybody because you're making me shout. Very cheeky young bull that we've got over here. Look at him. He came charging in from the distance, cracking branches. He's a young bull that's obviously been evicted from the herd. And then he came over to me as if to say, I'm going to show you who's boss. I reckon we showed him who's boss. Now, I had to be a little bit loud there with him because what he was going to do is he was going to walk over and come right up to the car. And I don't want to give him the satisfaction to think that he has this kind of control over the vehicles. Otherwise, that's how you start to get problem elephants. So just a little raise of the voice. He stopped responding to my voice, so I tapped the bonnet like that. And you saw straight away, he went, OK, fine, you win. Now don't be ugly, just be calm and nice and we can have a nice conversation and everybody can carry on watching. Just relax, he's settled down now though. He's now, no, he's not, what are you breaking? He's breaking a branch of some sort over there. He's probably going to try and make a big noise again and get me to startle myself, or to, but you can't, the thing is with these young elephant bulls, you can't back, you can't back down from them. Oh, Rolf is looking for me. Standing by Rolf. A little bit more west of that. Um, I think the best bet is if you go into that drainage line, you should see all our tracks on the fire break. Um, to, if you, actually, if you contact Tom and Patsy, they're in there now. Um, they might be able to guide you in a little bit better. I've left that sighting. I think it was, no, I think it's basically in that same drainage line. Um, just a little bit west, they're on the western side of, of the drainage, but that same drainage that runs from Timboiti Dam. I don't know where Rhino Cut Line is. Yeah, A firm, yeah, yeah, go, go east. Not go east, sorry, go west, go, go towards the Bavulzok signs. There we go, sorry about that, just keep trying to help Rolf in there, but I also for a moment lost my bearings as I was sitting there. So as I was saying, with a young elephant bull like this, it is so important that they learn from the beginning. It's very stressful for them once they get pushed out of a herd, as you can imagine, living with your family your whole life and then you know, being told to sort of move on and go on your own. And he's tailing this herd now. And the first thing they want to do is see if they can dominate the vehicles. And at a young age, you need to let them know that they're not allowed to do something like this because it is not good behavior. And of course, an elephant is much larger than us. And they're the ones that can tip the vehicle over and roll it a hundred times without even breaking a sweat. 
So young age, it's important. Let them know that they can't do that. Now, young elephant bulls or elephant bulls in general come up and investigate, and that's fine when they do so in a in a polite manner. But the fact that he came charging over like that, like he thought he owned the whole of the Sabi sand and he was the greatest tusker that ever lived in the Great Akruga National Park, is a little bit unacceptable. So we just had to teach him some manners, and it worked. Look at him now. He's feeding maybe 30 meters away from the car, and now he's not even interested in us because he learned that, oh, I'm not going to win with this crazy blonde girl today. She, she's going to win. And the whole herd has settled down. Half trunk and her little ones are feeding right just next to the car, which is nice. I'm sure that they appreciate what I did too, sorting that bull out, because he would have come in there and done the same thing, probably pushed some of the youngsters around, and then short trunk would have got upset and she would have had to have reprimanded him. So I think I helped her out today. But very nice. How great is that? A very exciting morning it's been, hey? The last hour and a half of game drive has been spectacular. Hmm. Now, Suzanne, you're wondering how many, centi how many centimeters in length would an elephant's track be? Ooh, I don't actually know off of the top of my head. I suppose it depends on the size of an elephant. I'll have to bring a tracking book out. I'll bring my favorite tracking book out for the Sunset Safari and we'll have a look. But a male elephant's track is massive. It's probably a bit longer than the length of a ruler. Maybe around there, 25 cent. No, actually maybe more. Why am I thinking about 50 centimeters or so in length? But we'll let's double check that. Maybe I'll bring a ruler out or a measuring device of some sort this afternoon and we'll actually find some elephant tracks and we'll try and find one of a average size uh, female elephant. We'll come here because we know where they cross the road and then we'll try and find a big elephant bull's track too and we'll have a look that way. Uh, it's so difficult to try and remember all of these things that we learn out here in the bush so it, it takes a bit of reading and that's why we have notebooks so we can quickly scan over things and go ah yes now I remember sometimes you go for months without talking about a certain thing and you forget that you even know that open your notebook or you dig into the filing cabinets in your brain and then you start to remember everything else <laughs>